there is enough time for everything. There will be enough time for all of the projects that you want to launch. One of my clients was talking with me about how she felt like the year was ending so quickly and there was still a, an important project she hadn't yet launched. And she's like, why, well, George, how do I fit it all in? And I said something that may have surprised her because I said, why don't you just postpone it until next year? I say that might you know, with, with a chuckle because people usually look at me as somebody who's highly productive. I'm launching things all the time. I have a new, you know, launching a new course every month. So I, I, I do believe in acting quickly because acting quickly creates more experiments that help us to really learn what we're about and what the market wants. So that is, has been my message for a long time, but so when I told this client, why don't you just postpone this project till next year? There's going to be time. I think I, I reason I said that is because this person has been diligent all year. I mean, she, she has been launching various different things, but she wanted to launch just one more thing. And some, you know, it, it really is about coming to this balance of, am I launching enough? Am I launching frequently enough? Or am I giving myself too much pressure? Now, there's never a need to give yourself too much pressure. You know, I, I never want you to uh, work yourself into a frenzy or to feel so anxious that you're not doing enough. Okay. I think, I think that's never needed. But what is needed is for you to plan what you want to do and to show up. When, you, when you've planned to show up. I think that is important. And if you are doing that, then don't stress out if you can't finish certain things. You can postpone it because there will always be time in the future to do it. So there's, this, there's this, these two sides here that I wanna talk about. On the one side, which maybe some of you watching this you might not be launching things. You, you might be holding back, holding back, holding back and not launching your business, not launching the next product, the next program, announcing your services or whatever it is, getting out there with your content. Then you are really off balance and you need to be launching more, okay? Because you, again, there's to have a successful business, you need, and, and the one that's authentic and personally sustainable, you need this balance between launching frequent and frequently enough and not, and, and not launching uh, or not, not putting yourself into a frenzy, okay? So for some of you watching, you need to first list out what are all the projects that I want to launch, the different products, the different services, the different courses, products, or, or programs, books, workshops, whatever it is you want to do, list them out and then simply plan them in to say, okay, if I've got a list of these 40 different things I want to launch or, or, or four, I don't know how many, then when am I going to do, uh, which, you know, plan, list it all out, put it in order of what you feel makes more sense or that you're excited by. If, if you know, I would say ordering by your excitement is probably the best thing uh, unless there's a very um, important sequence. Um, and then plan it in to say, okay, if I'm going to launch these four online courses or, or, or whatever it may be, then when am I going to do it? Okay, the first course is going to launch, you know, February, the second course is going to launch in, in June, the next one's going to launch in September, I don't know what, what your timeline is going to be. And then plan backwards to say, okay, if it's going to launch in June, that means I need to do this by then, this by then, this by then. But, but the most important thing actually, besides planning those things out, the most important thing is to just show up and do the work with as much joy as you can. And so if you're, if you're gonna launch an online course in February, for example, and you need to do certain things before then, you probably need to schedule, this is what I recommend, this is what I do, schedule regular time into your calendar to show up and work on that launch, okay, in a very step-by-step -step way. So if you have any trouble with that, please let me know below. 
Um, so that's some of you need to do that. Some of you need to simply list it out, plan it out, and then schedule it in and then show up when you've scheduled to work on these things. And when you do show up, come to it with a sense of spirit because anything we do isn't really about the thing we're doing. It's about the spiritual growth that's happening, that's available in this hour, in this moment. That's really what's more important than anything because that's what lasts forever. The, the, the launch may, yeah, may bring you some money and that's helpful, right? It may bring you the, the, the enjoyment of serving clients and students and that's, that's great, but it's really the spiritual growth. Am I bringing love to this? Am I bringing joy to this? Am I bringing grace or am I bringing whatever it is you want to bring that's of spirit? Am I bringing to that? So that's, that's really the most, so some of you need to, to, to do more, okay? So some of you need to plan and, and just show up more, but some of you are already doing a lot Okay, and, and you are too ambitious and you're forgetting that everything can be accomplished step by step with calm joy, everything. Nothing has to happen on the ego's timeline. All right, now for those of you who, who, who aren't doing enough, who aren't launching enough, even, even this, this, this advice applies to you as well. What you've planned out is, is the ego's timeline. Okay, I want to launch by June or I want to launch by February or whatever. As long as you're showing up, I'm happy. But if you're not showing up because you're afraid, you're, you're, you're embarrassed, you're, you don't want to make mistakes, then I'm concerned for you because you think that it matters that much. <laughs> Nothing matters. Nothing matters. All this is just for spiritual growth. So you might as well launch today. You might as well show up today. Right? It's just all for spiritual growth anyway. So don't, don't be worried about, like if you're worried about other people's judgment, that's when I'm concerned, right? That's, that's when, when you need to really apply to for productivity and just show up. But if you're showing up and you're doing the work and you have these ambitions that aren't being met, let it go. If you're showing up, okay, for the hour's work or the day's work or whatever, and you're, you are just trying to take those steps, then don't be so ambitious and blame yourself if you couldn't launch it by the timeline that you thought you could. That just means you're, you're learning how long things take for you. And things take different times for different people. It might take you longer than I, I do. I might take longer on certain things than you do. I, I'm always surprised that, in fact, you know, when, when, I, when I teach my courses and the people who show up live and I ask them to you know, do some work right then and there inside the course, I'm always surprised how quickly people can do this thing. I'm like, you guys are smarter than me because I couldn't answer my own questions as fast as you're able to answer my questions. So that's not true for everybody. I and mean, some people are as slow as me, but it, it's, you know, I, I would say, honestly, most people, uh, I, I, I am not that smart. I just show up. I appear smart because I have tried a lot. That's why I appear smart. I talk about things that I've already talked with lots of people about. So that's why I, I sound like I'm smart, but I just practiced a lot. That's it. I'm really not that smart. I really, really am not. Compared to my peers, uh, you know, it's and compared to my own clients and my students, I'm not that smart. I just have practiced. A, I just, I show up. That's my strength is I show up diligently day after day without fail. I mean, right now, this is, I'm recording this day after Thanksgiving. I mean, I was very, very tempted to not make a video today because I'm like, oh, holiday, you know, but, and I realized, am I not wanting to make a video truly because it's a holiday that I celebrate? And yes, I celebrate Thanksgiving, but I really, I feel like I celebrate Thanksgiving every day. You know, it's like, yeah, you know, it's like Thanksgiving is a chance to eat more maybe, but I celebrate Thanksgiving every, I mean, I, I'm, I'm giving thanks all the time. So it's not, you know, it's like, oh no, I, I'm really was going to postpone today because I was using the holiday as an excuse. It's just because I was kind of feeling lazy today, but I'm saying, okay, if it's the laziness, then that's not going to stop me. I, I, I'm going to show up. I'm not going to be a brilliant excuse maker and says, well, Thanksgiving day after I'm just going to show up. So what, what I hope you can really, and what I hope I can infuse into you with, with my presence, my videos and things is that same sense of diligence that you're in your way, of course, your own sense of diligence that you're showing up. I, I want you to show up without feeling like you're going to make mistakes, without feeling like we got to get all your ducks in a row before you launch. That's 
BS. That has stopped you for so long. It, 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 it needs to no longer stop you. Don't let the holidays be an excuse. Don't let, but, but at the same time, what I want you to do is to show up, but I don't want you to beat yourself up for not having com accomplished certain results. So as I've said before, strict about showing up, but lenient about the results. That's really my whole thing. I'm strict about showing up. I show up here, but I don't really care how this video turns out. Do you see what I mean? I show up, I show up for the video and I, 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 I'm, I'm, I, you know, aim to be myself and to, sh and to bring as much spirit to the moment as I can, as much passion as I can, as I can bring you to, to help you. Right. But the results, whether people watch this, whether people like, doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter because I know if I keep showing up and if I keep, of course, reflecting on how I did and what I can improve on and just keep doing that, it's just going to get better and better and better. So I don't beat myself up about things not launched. There will always be time. So this video is actually kind of different from the blog post accompanying the video, but that's okay because that's, you know, that's part of the authenticity of my message. Um, what, what really feels important in the moment. Um, so I hope this is helpful. Um, remember this balance. Are you, are, you, are you showing up diligently? If you're not because of fear, anxiety, you know, um, then, then we, we need to work on that. We really need to work on, you need, you need to show up. And, and when I say show up, I mean show up to work on whatever you're launching with a, with a reasonable timeline, not, not delaying because you have to get all the ducks in a row. You have to get things perfect. You have to make sure you show up in, in a polished way. That's all BS. That's all perfectionist. Your brilliant perfectionistic mind making excuses. Unfortunately, I know how it feels because I was like that for a very, very long time. So this balance between showing up diligently for the launch, okay, for make taking steps towards the launch and not beating yourself up if the launch doesn't happen on, a, on, on your ego mind's timeline, right? Just know that you're showing up and then you are going to work towards the timeline and you're not going to be perfectionistic, but it's okay. There's going to be time for everything. You will always be taken care of in some miraculous way. I don't know how to explain it, but if you look at your life, you've always been taken care of. And when I say always, I mean, just in time, you'll have the, the motivation, you'll have the ideas just in time. Many times you save yourself. Many times that's true. You save yourself. You just have ideas last moment. You got to pay the bills. Oh my God, something, you, you have this idea and then you, you create it and it works or whatever. Or you find a job or whatever it may be. But sometimes it's unexpected help comes, but miraculously you will always be saved. You will always be taken care of. I don't know how to explain it, but that's just, the law of life I've, I've learned. It's remarkably hard to die. <laughs> you know, it's remarkably hard to die. Uh, it just, we haven't put, as long as you're showing up and trying, that's what matters. And you will keep being given chances again and again and again until you're living into your purpose. That's what I, that's, I guess that's my faith. Uh, and that's what I, I guess maybe I'm, I choose to observe that in, in people's lives. Um, so I hope this is helpful. I look forward to your comments below and I'll give you a chance now to add a comment while I see if there are any comments live that I should respond to. Go ahead and comment below. And I wanna thank uh, Captain for your comments here. <laughs> Captain says, I want to be as slow as you. Captain, you're one of the people that's definitely smarter than me. So, <laughs> um, but don't give yourself too much pressure. That's, <laughs> that's the other thing. All right. Um, and thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, uh, Jen Marco and Yule and Tanya and Sandy. I thank you all. And I, I uh, look forward to um, seeing how you're going to work this balance of showing up diligently and yet not beating yourself up and just taking things step by step in a calm, joyful way, because everything can be done this way. And when I, when I say calm, joyful, I don't mean it always has to be calm. Sometimes it's exciting and joyful, but sometimes it's calm and joyful, but joyful. Everything can be done in a joyful way. That's, that's, really, that's really the truth. All right. I wish you well and uh, see you in the next time.